We're here part three with Brad John, and I'm just so thrilled. I remember being at Brad's house for dinner. I think we had a crab salad and there was something else. And, and these boys filed in just because they were out living their lives and at different times came in. And I tell everybody about this absolute gentleman. Like, and you just think, well, there's a credit to, to yourself and Ray. I mean, just great, great kids. And we're just talking about their music and their life and how their music has evolved. And so, Brad, I just wanted to turn it on you, um, seeing this is an interview about you. I mean, really, why are we talking about his songs? Let's be honest. <laughs> anyway, so so the thing is, is there a song that you've written in your life that you, you kind of think that's important? That's that's Forget about radio. Forget about all of that stuff that you can't really control. Is there a song that you've written in your life that you think that's, that's special, that's going to stay with me for a long time? Yeah, and it's funny how it, it came about. It's a song about divorce. I mean, I'm a happily married man, and I, I pray that that never ever, ha- ever happens to me. But and it happened to my brother, and so I wrote a song about it. But another reason why I wrote the song was I, I was opening up for Ian Tyson, mm-hmm. and we were doing it as a, as a trio. So we did our show first, and uh, afterwards I went to the washroom. I signed some autographs, went to the washroom, and there was two guys in the washroom, and they were talking about my show. And I, they didn't know I was in there. And they mentioned that... And one guy said, well, what did you think of that first guy? And the guy said, I didn't like him. And the guy said, well, really? How come, I didn't, how come you didn't like him? And he said, well, because he doesn't write, doesn't sing any, he sings all happy songs. He doesn't sing any songs, like any sad, you know, meaty songs. And right, right. So I took that as a challenge, and I went home and I wrote this song. My brother was going through a divorce at the time. So I wrote the song, it's called Every Other Saturday. And it, I, I still can't sing, sing that song live. Wow. It, it gives me, it, 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 it tears me up. Yeah. Every time I go to play that song, so I don't even like talking about it. Let's not talk yeah, about it. Yeah, yeah, okay. But it's a good no, one. No, it's a good it. one. Though. I get I, it. Yeah, I get it's it. It's one of my favorite songs. Yeah. I can't listen to it or I can't sing it, but it's one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and honestly, the, the thing is, I, I hope that whoever's watching this, you have to realize how real that is. And, and I know the reputation that goes with Brad John and everything, and he's sitting beside me here, and obviously, I, you know, I don't need to say any of this because it goes without saying, but if I could speak to anybody here, that's real. That's what this is. This isn't, you know, I, I love that saying, be yourself, because everybody else is taken. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and, uh, but, you know and, and, and I think when people come to see us in concert or whatever, which is a huge privilege, you take, you're taking money to your pocket to come to us. We want to give you the night of your life and a piece of us. And, and that's just mm-hmm. heart and soul. So anyway, what, what's the plans now building up to tell a miracle? Because what are we now? We're in the middle end of November. Is yeah. the, 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 the wheels grease now for you, for you guys being on the road with that, or does that happen after Christmas? Kind of after Christmas. Okay. There's a lot of, uh, during January, February, there's uh, Telemiracle fundraising, cabarets, and dances, and different shows that, are, that go on, and just getting geared up. This is year number 40 for Telemiracle, so it's a big year. Right. It's a pretty much all, all uh, Canadian, all Saskatchewan cast, mm-hmm. really, and uh, we're really excited to have everybody all the talent in Saskatchewan. There's going to be yeah. 50, over 50 probably, Saskatchewan talent, and all the national cast will be uh, Saskatchewan talent as well. And this is the first year without Bob McGrath, that's right? First year without Bob. Yeah, yeah. That, I'm sure that'll be heavy because I watched it on television last yeah. year and I was like, wow. You yeah, know, what an it was impact. a real emotional time mm-hmm. for sure, but uh, yeah. it's like anything else, we'll carry on and you know, Bob wants us to carry on and Absolutely. do our thing and he, he'll be sad that he, I'm sure he'll be watching it on, on the satellite, but you know, he, he, and he wishing he was here, but uh, it's going to be a great year, Looking yeah. really looking forward to it. It's so funny, I remember um, when my son Mason was born, we were in Ireland, he was born in Ireland, we watched it in Ireland. Oh, is that right? We watched it on a laptop. <laughs> I was like, yeah. well, it's four o'clock in the morning. We're awake anyway. Yeah, right. Thanks, son. <laughs> you know, you know. And I was like, hey, there's a gang on, on, on and yeah. we're just sitting there, yeah. you know, in the middle of our Ireland watching Tell yeah. America. And I just thought, that's so great. To and happen. I know there's lots of snowbirds, too, that, that watch all, like, they're For all sure. down south. Yeah. And they, they watch to Tell America every year, so it's good. I, I suppose you can't even fathom the impact that you have, you know, and, and the rest of the guys on television. You know, you're working around the clock 24-7, not to mention all the road show stuff you do, mm-hmm. right? You know, all the things on the road. And well, it's a, I mean, it's a great cause. I love Telemiracle. It's part of who we are. It's part of Saskatchewan in general. Everybody gets involved. It's not just, it's not just me. It's not just the boys. It's not just all the talent you see on the, on the stage putting the show on. Mm-hmm. It's all the volunteers. It's all the people who are involved. It's all the people who push a bed across the province, you know, or, yeah. you know, all the fun things that they, that they do. And it's just the it's the idea that they're that they're thinking about Telemiracle all year round and thinking about where right. the money's going and stuff. So it's uh, it's right. awesome. It's a great organization. Awesome.